This is Patrick McCarthy reporting with Tri-Cities Community Television. We're in the Lee Square in Port Coquitlam. Uh, today we have two special guests. We have uh, Jessica and Chloe from Mind of a Snail. So welcome to the studio first. And I guess Mind of a Snail has come to our attention because you're part of the Port Coquitlam Coffee Concert Series on Sunday. Yeah. And we're happy to say that your world tour is coming to Poco <laughs> uh, after your trip through Taiwan. So first of all, tell folks a little bit about what this show is going to be like on February 4th. Yeah, we're doing a show called Cause and Effect. Um, it's a show all about magical crows. And uh, we do the show using uh, shadow theater techniques probably that you've never seen before. Um, we use two overhead projectors um, layered together to create almost like watching animation performed live on a big giant 20 foot screen. It's full color. Um, yeah, and it's a modern fable about crows. Kind of fable yeah. with a message, I guess. Right? Yeah. So, and you brought some of the crow masks with you, so there are a, a little bit about the process of making those props, uh, uh, Jessica, just to, uh, and sort of the time and the, pro and the, how do you turn this comic strip into a visual, you know, comic strip? Yeah, the well, the form of shadow puppetry we do, it's, yeah, it's using overhead projectors, which I have, we make our own merchandise. So these old machines, it's a very great um, device to, kind of layer with collage. I have like a fine arts background and Chloe makes all the music for the show and we also have clown training. So it's like a layering of many different art forms all at once and then this is one of the masks that we use. So we wear these on our heads, just put this on. So it kind of doubles as a, like if I bend down, it kind of looks, looks around. <laughs> and then I can like be up and kind of be my uh, kind of, Human the form. human version well, human of the form. <laughs> have my face up. So it's a kind of a dual purpose mask. And yeah, we're, we're working very hard to um, just, we have lots of very small puppets on these overhead projectors that we're using. And so it's very, just very layered and yeah. technical, technical art form. Yeah, although the puppets are small, they're projected very large mm -hmm. and colorful on the big screen. Yeah, so and I'd also do your, it, it kind of, you're playing the, you know, the crows, or most of the world has a crow. And even in First Nations, the crow always seems to be mischievous. Uh, and I guess so. The question is: Is the crow mask the real crow, and then the human is the unhuman crow? I guess is it the is it the bad side of the crow, or is it just the confused oh, well, side of the crow? You'll you'll have to come to the show to find out. Um, uh, from audiences, from what I've heard, is it blends seamlessly our own characters, the uh, shadow puppet versions of the crows, and the mask versions of the crows. They bend, blend seamlessly into to create this almost like a moving graphic novel. Um, yeah. yeah, it's good for like uh, adults and kids seven and up. So there's like, not every show is good for all ages, but I would say that this show is one of those shows that um, has a lot of things for people of uh, many backgrounds to enjoy. Yeah, I was joking about world tour, but it's true. Yeah, I mean, yeah. You have been to Taiwan, you go across Canada. Yeah, so, yeah. So, so how is that international audience receiving your work? And, and, and secondly, the question is, you know, when you're traveling, is it all like you wear it on the plane in case you get, your luggage gets lost? Or, <laughs> or what is the yeah, well, it? we are mind of a snail, so we do carry our, <laughs> I, I guess we carry our show on our backs a lot. Um, yeah, we travel a lot um, doing various shadow puppet shows, but this is the show that we have that has traveled the most around the world. Um, yeah, we've gone to, we went to Taiwan last year. Um, it was translated into Mandarin, although there isn't any spoken word in our show. Um, there is uh, some text that appears on the screen as the crows are speaking to each other. It's kind of like a translation of um, of the crow language, so um, there's a lot of word play uh, for people that enjoy bird puns, um, and yeah, it has been translated into uh, Mandarin in the past when we performed it in Taiwan, we've also performed it in Quebec, and it's been translated into French as well, but this time we're doing it in English, so. Um, and or crow, Coco, crow language. <laughs> so, so, <laughs> yeah. so people laugh at the same point? 
Yeah. Um, so you're like, it's not like you missed on anybody. Um, for the translations, yeah, I would say um, different people, <laughs> different jokes. Uh, some work better in some languages and some work better in other languages. But um, I would say, yeah, every line is has has a joke to it. It's pretty fun. So, so uh, as artists, as you turn art into a form of, you know, obviously a living, what was the moment that that sort of happened where you both got together and that 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 that, that light bulb went off? Um, I think the first time we got a hold of an overhead projector was was a moment that was like <gasps> because I don't know if you played with an overhead projector those old school the old school old school machines yeah, yeah. yeah. I, we bored one my dad's, dad's a teacher and we we had started sort of jamming and playing together and he lent us an overhead projector and we just started using all these textures on it and discovered that it's it's like a whole whole microscopic world a way to discover the world so it's very it's a very yeah layered and textured medium yeah it's very hands-on um so like a lot of people picture shadow puppetry i think i said this before but like small and black and white and held up against a screen what we do is actually i would say it's more uh projection puppetry because it's projected it's full color we use like uh we find lots of textures um we use like a lot of found material, fabric, um, different like layers, like maybe even plant material. Mm. Yeah, uh, and a lot of colored gels, and it's it's very uh, handmade feeling while you're watching it. Although it is very rehearsed and um, like seamlessly choreographed as well. <laughs> so it's it's kind of that Seems. yeah, it's that combination. <laughs> So you're watching it and you'll feel immersed in the show as if you're watching a movie, but you can also watch us how we're doing it too. So there's a couple of layers there to enjoy. So it's the story, the visuals, and then the things you use to make them. Yeah, the, how we do technically like water pans. Yeah, yeah, yeah we've got so a lot of tricks. So if you, yeah. like, if, you, if you like comics, if you like puppets, if you like good stories, a well, good yeah. laugh, sounds like your show is absolutely uh, the right thing to go see. Yeah. So I, I want to thank you very much for coming to the studios. Oh, thank you and, so much. And uh, I look forward to it on, uh, on the February 4th. So just to let you know that Poco has uh, has brought this great talent, Mind of a Snail, to Port Coquitlam. It is part of a, a world tour. We just heard about that. And uh, it's for like really seven or two to 97, uh, even for folks by, like myself. There's a whole bunch of different talent this year that Poco's bringing uh, to the table. A lot of it's to do with dance and uh, some string stuff and some com comedic acts. So it's the Sunday concert series is not just Excuse me, music. It's actually a whole more odd of talent uh, from artists around our region. This is Patrick McCarthy reporting with Tri Cities Community Television. Thanks for watching.